Suspects is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Tonight we're doing a jump out operation. We'll be hitting some of the hot spots, some of these apartment complexes and, and local street corners where the local drug dealers like to hang out and uh, do their criminal activity. We've got a group of us that are, are used to doing this type of work. Uh, and we usually have a pretty good success at, at it when we, when we when we ride together and work as a team. Man, we might get you one of you guys to stop this truck for us. Well, this truck was driving at a high rate of speed, kind of reckless. We're just going to stop it here in a minute, make sure it's not stolen. All right, let's follow it out. Let's see what he's doing there. Okay. All right, let's get out. All right, he's pulling in the Phillips 66 right here at the store. We're going to get out on him. Look at this guy doing a deal right here on this bike. This guy on this bike doing a deal. Get right the here. guy on the bike. Get down, get down. Turn off the car. Turn it off. Hey, get out. Get out. Turn off. Put the head behind your back. Put him behind your back. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Get his head, get his head. Get his head behind your back. Get his head. Behind your back. Get your other hand back here, man. Get your other hand back here. Get your other hand. Give it your hands. You got it, you got it, man. You act right, dude? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. One, two, three. Pull my pants on. Come on, dude. Everybody all right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, say, I suppose these are my cuts from the last deal. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I got a whole bunch of them in this. <laughs> Shake him down. Why'd you rum? Cause y'all came up with. I ain't got nothing to Huh? I ain't got nothing Then why'd you run? Huh? What do you got on you? Oh, you sold him some weed? No. We saw you selling with him, though. I got the weed right Yeah. I called my mama give her keys, man. Hey, buddy. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Why'd you run? Huh? Why'd you run? Mama and give her. Uh, is this an X tab? Yeah. So this X tab? No, not right now. So we got an X tab. He might have an X tab on him. All right. So why'd you run? Did you run because of the X tab? You out here selling tabs? No, I'm not selling. You're not selling tabs? Uh-uh. Well, then why'd you run? Because you knew it was us, right? And you knew what you were doing wrong. Well, I mean, we were right on you. And stuff, so. So when we approached him, we saw him making hand to hand with the driver in the car, Hardy. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't and then when we got out on him, of course, you guys were pulling up at that time, and then he, he tried to make it. Yes, and stuff. So, way to chase him down. Good guys. Way to go. Where do you have, Sarge? Got an X tab, Ed? In his pocket? Buddy shoes, dude. I'm going to check that car. Yeah, let me go in there with you, Ed. Uh, he is a quarter of our business. Hey, man. Talk to my What were you doing with this guy? He, I just know him from Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box? Which Jack in the Box? The one down the street. What's he his name? Saying, bye, bye. I don't know his You don't name. know him? Then how do you know him? I just know him from working at Jack in the Box. You I'm just know speaking him? to him. Yes, sir. What were you guys talking about? I was just saying, what you been up to, you know? He didn't like, say the weed? That's my weed, sir. That's your weed? I smoke weed, sir. When he took off running, I guess he dropped a box of uh, cigarettes, and this is what was inside. So while well, he was running... And um, he, you saw him throw the box. So after yeah. we had him in custody, everything right. was settled. You went back, picked up the box. Yeah, I went back, treated the box. When I opened it up, saw the crack cocaine. crack cocaine inside of it. You know what you're going to jail for? Ecstasy. Well, you're going to jail for possession of ecstasy, yes, right? And also the crack cocaine that you threw down. All right. 
I ain't done no crack now. You didn't throw deck box down, huh? No, sir. I don't have So one. all those five officers running behind you that saw you throw deck box down. I don't have was an XP right up in there. I ain't had no cracks. But you said you didn't have anything when I first pulled it out until I pulled it out, and then you said, oh, yeah, I got X on me. I forgot, sir. You forgot it? Yes, sir. I ain't got no dope on me. Oh, no well, you, you didn't have it on you because you threw it down. I, mean, I ain't never had no dope on me. Nobody seen me with nothing. All I had was the X pill up in my All you had was the X pill, yes, huh? Sir. I can fingerprint and everything. Yeah, actually, do you think we need a fingerprint when we see you throw it down? I ain't had no dope. Somebody see me throw no dope. I ain't had no dope. I ain't got a lot about that. Pop. <sighs> All right, you know why you're going to jail? Seriously. For what? For what he just told me I want. So. You're going to jail for what? Marijuana. Possession of marijuana, right? Were you in boot camp recently? No, sir. Cause you said sir, no sir, and I was, usually yeah. I was just in jail. I was just in jail. That's how I was raised, sir. Okay, what you just get out of jail for? Uh, I just, I just got out of jail for a marijuana. Marijuana? Yes. Sir. So, how long did you do for your last case? My last case, uh, I got. Uh, they just gave me conviction. I did like 30 days. They gave you 30 days. How much was it? It was. Uh, I, I can't remember, sir. Was it less than that, what we got you now, or is it more? About the same. Why would you risk driving around with marijuana on your possession, knowing that it's probably going to get towed when you get arrested? Just being stupid, sir. Just, huh? Just being stupid. Just being just stupid? I was just going through. Do you think it's that marijuana that maybe clouds your judgment sometimes when you smoke it? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Just hold on. If I talk to you again, that please. Do what? Can you come back and talk to me? Yeah. We'll let you know what's going to happen to the car. Thank you, sir. All right, bud. So pretty much what we got, Ed, is on the guy on the bicycle that took off running, we're going to have possession of crack cocaine and possession of ecstasy. The guy that was in the driver's seat that he was making the hand-to-hand -hand with, we got a couple bags of marijuana off him, so we're taking him to jail for possession. I prefer working at night because you kind of, under the same element as the, the crook is, you kind of are hidden also, uh, so you can sneak and, and use that a characteristic to, to catch crooks when they actually think it, it, it helps them. We got a vehicle with uh, high beams on and no front plate. We're gonna check it out. Get back in the car. 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 Put your hands where I can see them. What's he, what's he trying to hide? I don't know. Okay, we work on my terms here, not your terms. Understand that? Okay, I don't know why you jumped out the car, but this, this is not how we, we do it out here. All right? I don't, I don't Step, out Step out the car. Put your hands right here. Yes, sir. Put that cigarette down. Yes, Put your hands behind you. Y'all got drugs, narcotics, no, guns. No, sir. What's he so fidgety for? I'm nothing, sir. <laughs> Y'all live here? Yes, sir, right here. Why didn't you pull in the driveway if you live here? Uh, I was just about to leave, drop him off. <laughs> He's saying he lives here, though. We all stay here. Are there drugs in here? No, sir. No, sir. Sit down right here on this yeah. wheel. Yeah. Sit down all the way. Okay. So, where are y'all going in such a hurry, man? We know, we just went to the store to Shamrock. And to get what? Just get Dr. Pepper and cigarettes. Y'all found anything? Yeah, found a little baggie. Baggie, but... a little baggie of what? They jumped out of the vehicle rather quickly, I yeah. believe, to, to hide this. This is prescription drug. Looks like codeine and Xanax, which she ain't supposed to have without a prescription bottle. I'm gonna go talk to them and see what, see what this is. And... Rub it off. Dust or something. I don't know. From what? I don't know. You can test it if you want. <laughs> this may be just sheetrock, but we'll see exactly what it is that's here in just a second. That's what I was thinking, dude. That don't look like nothing I ever seen before. Well, I mean, that's I why just... we're going to test it. Was anybody put asking you? No, sir. Okay. I, I know. I shouldn't put my two cents in. Sorry about that. Maybe. It may not be.
Not turning blue. <laughs> oh, you know the color, huh? Are you used to it? <laughs> no, I'm not, sir. Well, that's what it seems like. You, you well, I mean, some... I know. I've been well, through it, sir. I've okay, been through so it. so you're used Back to it. Back in 2000, sir. In 2000? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I was in trouble in 2000. That's probably my car oh, needs to be cleaned what up. what do you know? Are you kidding? Am I kidding? It's not turning blue? Tested positive. <laughs> so it's time for no. you to... No. I have to clean out my car. <laughs> uh, clean out your car? No, this came off your clothes, Here. on top of your clothes. So, you know... Are you kidding, y'all? I've got two felony. I'm... Man. Oh, well, you know what? Hey, no, come here, come please, here. Come here. That's why honestly, you're trying to rub honestly, it off. Hold on. Some, Let's see. Let's see. Honestly, honestly, I did some bumps. Oh, look. Earlier. What do you What do you know? Not in Air, the car. <laughs> so, look. In the, not what in do you the know? Car. It's turning blue again. So that means. Look at that. You have coke all over you. So what does this mean? That. Huh? Hand it over. I, I, sir, I don't. Have, I swear on everything holy. So where is it at? I don't have anything. Where is it at? I don't have anything. We did some bumps earlier. Y'all did. Where did y'all do earlier. some bumps at? In the car? Sit, no, sitting on that uh, picnic table. That was earlier. Where's the baggies? The baggies. Are you want you want to be honest? You know, you honest, fifteen sir. minutes down the road, you should have been honest from the beginning. And you know what? Now, of course, you're going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> I can't make another case, man. Y'all, this is like. Third dope case, man. This is what? It's going to be my third dope case. Is ever. he a third? I've ever? got two kids. You've got two kids. Okay, yes. you've got two kids. You're riding around, what, 2 o'clock in the morning, yes, snorting I was coming coke? I'm to my, my brother's house. Please, snorting officer. coke? I was honest with you. you were, no, you weren't honest with me. So you can't operate a motor vehicle that the the, the head the headlights don't work. I understand. All right. I understand. All right. Well, you're being released, man. You need Thank not you. to be hanging around people that are doing drugs. Thank you. All right. All right. Please, God. You're going to jail for possessing a controlled substance. Okay. Anything you want to say before you go? Possession of controlled substance. What? The pills? Cocaine. Cocaine? Yeah. How much? Less than a... You know a speck? How, less than a gram. I'm screwed. I don't know what to say. You're screwed. Do you have any totally. anything else on you that they might find? Because we know when you go into a penal institution, it turns into a federal federal offense, correct? You know that, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anything else on you? If you go in there and you show it and you, you let them find it on you, it's going to be a federal offense. You take this off, yeah, I do. Okay, I figured so. I, I, come on, I, I'm, I, I'm not stupid. I don't know. Uh, yeah, exactly. You aren't going to let me go anyway. I'm not the stupid one. You, you should have figured that by now. Why not? Uh, you should have figured that by, uh, by now. I, I know, that. we'll get it in a minute. Get it out of there, because I knew it was in there. This thing. Your crack pipe. Where's your crack at? There wasn't any. It was gone. Okay. I mean, even if I told you the truth, what would you have done? Take you, know, you to jail. You would have taken me exactly. to jail. Exactly. I would have taken you to jail. Just like you're doing right now. I knew she, I knew she had something else. Yeah. Now she's going to jail for possession of controlled substance. She's very sad because it's her third strike, and your third strike, you're gone away for a while. I've been a policeman for about 19 years. I worked at a sheriff's office before that. I've been a shift commander here on the midnight shift for almost five years. I have a son that's in law enforcement. I didn't encourage it, but uh, he chose that profession anyway, so I'm looking forward to see how his career progresses. We're headed to a report of a citizen who found a small boy riding his bicycle in the middle of a busy intersection. They think the boy's about two years old and there's no adults around, so we're gonna go over here and see if we can talk to the little boy and find his parents and get him back home.
gentleman watched this kid going on his bike back and forth across Washington Street. Um, they had to run out and snatch him before he got hit by a car. Wow. Um, brought him back here. Um, we're trying to figure out who he is. He says he lived, what we gather, he says he lived you know, a couple blocks over. So. He says he's going to the store. Going to the store, huh? <laughs> yeah. He thinks it's the same kid that he did a few weeks ago, uh, a lost kid. And he thinks it's the same one. So, uh, sit down here. Sit on your bike. Oh, oh, we don't want you to stand up there. It's okay. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron? Hi, Cameron. How are you? I'm Martin. Nice to meet you. Do you know where you live at? <laughs> what is it? Hi. Okay. That's what those other policemen were saying, too. We're going to see if we can find a way to get you home, okay? Are you scared? Nope. You ride around like this all the time? It's my birthday. It's your birthday today? Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, I live by myself. No. You can't see him. But I have a house. Nobody at your house. What's that? Oh, you're my fish and me. Your fish? My friends. Your friends, okay. I'm sorry. Where'd you say you're going to the store? Which store were you going to? Where are you going to buy at the store? A cake? A cake for your birthday? Now, how did you guys come across this? We sitting here, and he was sitting on the back of his truck, just sitting here like he is. I was on strapping mine, and I heard some holler, hey, and I looked around there, and all I could see was him in the street grabbing, <laughs> grabbing that, but he, he was the one. He grabbed him out of the street? Yeah, he yes. was the one that got him. Yeah, I, I, I saw him coming, and I and I screamed, had, had him to stop, and he just kept coming, and the cars kept coming, so I jumped off the truck and went up there and grabbed him. Oh. You know, that kind of scared me more than anything. Oh, it's very so. scary. It's a busy intersection. Yeah. yeah. All right, we appreciate you guys right, calling and yes, helping sir. us out. Right. You guys take care. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you all for coming out so fast. <laughs> Not a problem. The other officers is, have placed Cameron in the car with them, and they're going to see if he can point out his house. We're going to drive around the neighborhood. We believe we know the name of the street that he lives on, but he doesn't really know the numbers for sure, so we're going to see if he can point out a house. Looks like we might have found his house. Is this your house? You're not, you're not in any trouble, okay? We're gonna have to get some information here. Are you the responsible person here? Where's his parents? They went out right now. He was supposed to be in his room watching TV like he said he was doing. Listen, somebody should have been watching him and that's probably you, so don't get mad at him. Are you mom? Was somebody supposed to be babysitting me? Um, not Cameron. No? Nope. I've got Logan, Marcus, and Kira. Okay. So his mom lives two doors down? It's embarrassing. Tell mom where you said you was going a while ago. What were you going to buy at the store? A cake? Candies. Candies. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He told us he was going to the store to get some candies. Did you have money? Yes, my aunt gave me money. Marcus and Kara gave you money? Where's your money? So the it out. A couple of guys are parked alongside of the street there, and they saw him trying to cross the street, so they, they helped us out, and then they called 911, and, and we went out and picked him up. So what do you say? Thank you for picking you up so you didn't get run over by a car, right? Well, you're welcome. Now, Logan, you can't leave your house. You got to stay here. Are you okay? Are you scared? It'll be all right. Just don't wander off, okay? Come on. 
Has the officers gotten your information yet? I don't know. She's in there screaming. Okay. Oh. I'll get some information from you. Well, we have to make a report on missing children cases, yeah, know. you know, when we find them and all that. So, but you said he's run off before? Oh, my, they're very headstrong. When they want to do something, they do it. And she knows. That's like we were, I have the two other kids, and they can go and play. Sure. A little older. Keep the door shut and keep an eye on Logan. That's simple instructions. That's it. That's it. They can play, keep the door shut, keep an eye on Logan. <laughs> well, at least, at least it turned out and okay. Obviously, and okay. it didn't work. Don't run off, Logan, all right? We don't want to see you get hurt. There's too many fast cars. All right, well, y'all be careful. Thank okay? you very much. Good I luck. appreciate it.